three, two, and one. Raise your upper body. Whew. This is an intense workout. This isn't just, oh, let's do some leisurely yoga. This is hardcore. Hold, please. There's a See? castle over there. We raise the left arm. How am I supposed to go back to doing yoga in a gym when I'm floating on the Danube right now? This That's is Sunday. just too much. On the world's most charming and romantic continent. Tucked into the southeast corner of Germany sits the free state of Bavaria. Oh, Europe. Could you be any cuter? Beyond being home to the modern German capital city of Munich, Bavaria is also comprised of countless alluring villages like Vilshofen that are steeped in proud, rich traditions. The more I'm here, the more I fall in love with this little town. It's quiet and quaint. Every half hour you hear the bells chiming. And from this collective culture comes one of Germany's most beloved celebrations. Prost! Prost! Oktoberfest. The Oktoberfest, it's the beer fest. We celebrate food, music. It's like a huge party. Switch! So this is later, how is it? Yeah, it's like the original. The real deal? Tradition is very important for us here in Bavaria. I noticed there is an incredible amount of pride. And even the young people really embrace it. It's really special, yeah. And while taking in Europe by land is one thing, by riverway, the continent becomes yours to explore. My ship has come in. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Hi. Hi. Welcome Hello. aboard Yama Magna. Thank you so much. And we just arrived to your lovely cabin. All right. <gasps> this is so big. <laughs> and my own balcony. Cruising down the Danube River with AMA waterways aboard their luxurious new ship, the AMA Magna, travelers can effortlessly traverse 10 cities across four countries in only one week's time. I have not been able to travel Europe in this way. The fact that we're going to hit four countries while I'm sleeping in my stateroom <laughs> It's unbelievable. When you're on a river cruise, you actually get double the leisure time because you don't have to pack, unpack. And easy access. Yes. When you get on board, you're on board in one minute, not more. There are no lines. Time is what we don't have enough of when we're traveling. We just want more time. And here, you're cruising in luxury and then arriving in a new country the following day. You sit at the bar, you come into town, you step off the bar and you're in and town. And you're there. Yeah. Very, very yeah. unique. Every one of these towns is more magical than the next. One of the oldest cities in Bavaria, its strategic position at the confluence of three major rivers has made Passau a place of great fortune and wealth. But it's confectioner Walter Simon's creations, gingerbreads, ice cream, and some 60 uniquely distinct chocolate truffles that promote the region's local richness. We are here in Passau since 1903, and I'm the fourth generation. And so I have the sugar, the honey in my blood. Mm, it bursts in your mouth. Yeah, of course. That is award-winning. But I want to know what's in that box. The legendary chocolate golden bonnet truffles come in two delectable variations. Local hazelnut coated in milk chocolate and dark chocolate encased apricots spiked with German schnapps. Candy's dandy, but liquor's quicker. <laughs> now tell me about the gold bonnets. The golden bonnets are the sweet specialty of Passau. And uh, this tradition starts uh, as Napoleon come in this area because in the former time it was only allowed the kings to wear gold on his head. Mmm, no goody goodness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the gold bonnets were a symbol of status and class. In the old time, in yes. In the old time. All right, here comes All the right. good stuff. And now the chocolate, what does it symbolize? Uh, that's the sweet treat for Passau. 
the sweet treat for all of Pesau. Yes. Mm. Be careful. <laughs> it's, it's hot over this pot. So tell us a bit about Pesau. Pesau, it's very special. You have three rivers, uh -huh. the Danube, the Inn, and the Ilz. And it all meets. It meets here in one place. So you'll do the body, and then after you'll add the little tail. Yes. Yeah. There we go. It's a small town and anything you can give by your feet. You can walk this entire city in an hour. Yep. Dip it in. Just dunk it in. My mouth is watering. I'm really happy when I go on the hill by the castell and also we have the cathedral. So it's really beautiful. I would say breathtaking. You can lost your heart in Paso also. Mm. I love that. You're probably famous in this city. No, 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 I'm not famous in this city. Yes, you are. You're the guy that makes the chocolate. I know him. My chocolate is famous, but not yet. Yes. Put a little gold on there. Yes. And is it real gold? It's real gold. Can I touch so, it? You, you can eat it. Oh, that's perfection. Confection. Perfection. Perfect. It's a new creation. So, now eat it one bite. It just melts in yeah. your mouth. Yeah. That is so good. <laughs> Pesau, knocking it out of the park. First Look is sponsored in part by Alma Waterways. We invite you to experience our world one river at a time. Visit www.almawaterways.com to book now. If Saul's camera gut, the lake region of Austria, looks familiar, it's because it resembles heaven on earth. But aside from the biblical reference, the hills were also once alive with the sound of music when the cinematic classic was filmed here in the 1960s. Glacial waters surrounded by steep peaks encapsulate as you depart the ship on your included excursion of the city of Salzburg, where manicured nature is grandly exhibited at the Mirabel Garden. The first garden terrace is the so-called orange garden or orangerie. Ooh, look at this. The Baroque system works with digits. Everything in the garden is divided per two. For example, 48 vases, 24 statues. This is so aesthetically pleasing. They're amazing. Here we have the main garden fountain and ends up with the two most important buildings of Salzburg, the cathedral as a symbol of clerical or religious power, and on top, a fortress as a symbol of secular power. I have such an appreciation for this now, now that I have my own garden. <laughs> it's unbelievable, I had no idea. It was yeah. just beautiful. That is spectacular. Cross the Salzach River, explore the old town of Aldstadt, and discover the delightful street of Getschreitgasse, where Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born. This is my happy place. There's shopping, it's old timey. It's all the things that speak to my heart. Starts with Monk's Hill over there, ends up with Mozart Square at the end of Old Town. It's amazing to think that he could have sat in this very square writing a masterpiece. He wrote more than 600 pieces of music during his short life of 35 years. A lot of greatness on these streets. And plenty of food options like the classic pretzel. What is the significance of the shape of the pretzel? There's got to be a story there. The monks turn around in the abbey like this. And that's a sign of friendship too. So a pretzel is sort of like a giant hug. I do not understand this one. I'm so a hug! Sorry. A hug! Oh, oh, a hug! Okay. A hug. Okay. Okay. It looks like a hug. Should a snack not fully satiate, then set sail and simply choose where it is you wish to eat. There's the finely prepared fare meticulously served at the chef's table, casual courses served in both the main dining room and Jimmy's restaurant, or just find a seat on the bow of the ship deck and feast al fresco on locally sourced flavors while Europe calmly coasts by. Can we just take a moment here and look at this castle? Fantastic. How is this happening? We're just cruising by a castle. It's so surreal. It's gonna be rough going home. Where else can you sit on a sun deck, have your breakfast and watch the world go by? Every moment special. It's the most relaxing thing. Plus, we're going somewhere. And we dock in the middle of every little town, so you're right there. It really fills you up. It does. When you come to port, bicycles provided by the ship make for the perfect way to pioneer the lush green pastures. 
Situated in the Wachau Valley, the picturesque town of Dernstein comes equipped with castle ruins, winding roads, views of the ever-present Danube River, and terraced vineyards as far as the eye can see. Cultivated by the Harm family for six generations, producing Gruner Veltliner and Riesling vintages, the region is famous for its grapes, but also for their fleshy, sweet, golden apricots. These apricots here are world famous. What makes them so special? These trees are very old ones. It grows up here in the Wachau region many years ago, and they have the best aromatic notes. Mm. It smells a little bit like a perfume or like a yes. fragrance. So what are we looking for when we go to find the perfect apricot? You see here, mm -hmm. these are perfect apricots. This is what we're looking for. Yes. When you push them, it has to be soft, but not really soft. Not mushy. Yeah. This is a good one? It's a good one. Okay. Perfect. How would you describe the Wachau Valley? It's very, very old, more than a few thousand years old. It does feel relaxed and calm here. It is not hectic at all. Yes, and that's very special. It is special. It's a fairy tale kind of place. <laughs> Just pick it right up and put it here. Oh my gosh, the basket's so cute. <laughs> so how long has your family been working here in Dernstein? About seven or eight generations. Wow. So you've been climbing these trees since you were... Mm -hmm. Just tiny, tiny? Tiny, tiny, three years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. When I was a little girl, it was very fun to work with my father here. And it's very important for me to give this to my children. And I hope they will take care of it. This must be like looking in the mirror, running. Like you did the same thing with your sisters. And now you're passing it down to your kids, mm -hmm. which is really great. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. On a European river cruise, aside from the ship, time may very well be your greatest luxury. So feel free to bask poolside in the glory of the infinite summer sun. But when you come to port in the cosmopolitan city of Vienna, be aware there's a whirlwind of activity that awaits you. We've got a lot to do today. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Schönbrunn Palace. The main wing is was where the imperial family lived. Everyone needs a little summer home. <laughs> so ornate. There's so much to take in. This is the way to do it. Yeah. If you're looking to cover the city proper, a local guide can navigate the Viennese landmarks like the massive St. Stephen's Cathedral. This is impressive. It is, isn't it? This is really a gothic piece of artwork. Yeah, a masterpiece. Uh-huh. So tall. I see gold. Look at this. Here now, a very unusual depiction you have of an emperor. He's kneeling, and on top of it, depicted in gold, the Holy Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that screams Baroque. Yes. Yeah. I feel like we're in a big city. Mm -hmm. It feels very big city. It feels like there's a lot going on. But it does still kind of have that village vibe. Well, maybe that is also one of the reasons it has been voted for the 10th year already in a row as the most livable city in the world. Livable? Most livable city. Vienna? I do feel like overall Austria is very clean, yes. very fresh. The air seems yeah. clear. Yeah. Vienna is home to the Spanish Riding School. Established in the 16th century, the institution features the world famous Lippenzahner horses that are born dark and whiten with age. So which is the best seat in the house? The emperor or the imperial family would always be in the imperial box in front of the portrait of Emperor Charles VI. And the riders, of course, they always salute whenever they come inside. And that's to the portrait as well, to say, hello, Charles, thank you for building us such a beautiful riding arena. Wow. We want to keep the art of classical horsemanship alive in its purest form. Hats off to you, Charles VI. <laughs> 
These horses seem like the perfect symbol for Vienna. Where else can you find such traditions, such a cultural heritage in the middle of a big city? And uh, we're very proud of what we have achieved over the past and that we're still around. Yes, a lot to be proud of. <laughs> Talk about tradition. It's so graceful. It's spectacular. Crowned the city of music, the finest classical compositions the world has ever known were composed here in Vienna, including this score. And where there is melody, there is movement. Why is the waltz so important to Vienna? I think it's something traditional. I think it's something that is just within our culture and we grow up with it. It's like the driver's license or riding a bike. Really? Yeah. So as a child, it's sort of, you have to learn the waltz. It's just part of the culture? I would say so. You go in with your right foot, one, then to the side, and then you close. Seems sort of straightforward. What's quite challenging probably about the Viennese waltz in comparison to the English waltz is that it's rather quick, you know? Uh -huh. It's like 60 beats per minute, one, two, three, one, two, three. How am I doing? Very, very good. <laughs> it's harder than I thought. Um, I was thinking like, bum, 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 but that's... That's like rather the English waltz. That's it's the like English one, waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Shame one, on me, two, I'm in three. Vienna. This is amazing. Magnificent. <laughs> Easy stallion. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Stimulation overload. Good show. That's how you do Vienna. The next port of call is Budapest. A sailing ship gets you views and access you'd never otherwise obtain. There are moments in your life that you can't forget. And then there's yoga before breakfast while arriving in Budapest. Hello, Budapest. Now this is how you enter a city. Being on the ship, you can tell that there is a commitment to wellness. From the healthy food options to all of the different amenities. At this yeah. critical time, you know, we want to live longer, we want to do the right things. This is good. Mm. And wellness is part of it and enjoying it while we are cruising. It's unreal. Ama Waterway co-founder Christine Karst is at the forefront of an immersive health and wellness program that packs an impactful punch. This is vacation multitasking. I'm doing yoga, sailing, and sightseeing all at the same time. Experience, it's one of the seven dimensions of wellness. It's good for your body, it's good for your mind, for your spirit, and you just discover the beauty of the country and everyone feels so good about it. Is this the chain bridge we're going under? Ah! This is the moment. This is crazy. That's Ladies how you do moment. yoga. Travel is actually getting off your boundaries, right? Mm -hmm. It's there's always such an enrichment. Push the limits. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The Danube River, which yeah. we've been sailing on, splits the cities in two. We are right now on the Pesht side. Mm -hmm. That's the city side. You have the Hero Square, so many museums here as well. You should also go to the market hall because there you can taste what the Hungarian cuisine has to offer. It tastes good, it looks good, it smells good. This checks every box. I can try? Yeah. Mm. The hidden gem is the Buddha site. Buddha is the old part, Buddha is the historical part. Most of the spas are also on the Buddha site. Even the name of the city Buddha is derived from the Slavic word Voda, which is water. Monica Ferrer is an AMA Waterways cruise manager and a Hungarian born and raised in Budapest. So this is a real local experience? It is, absolutely. I mean, on a day-to-day basis, there are Hungarians here, mostly early mornings. I came a lot when I was a kid with my grandparents, with my parents. We went to the different pools. It was like a family thing. So this is not your standard swimming pool. This water is coming from where? It's coming naturally from the ground. For 2,000 years, this area has been used as a hot spring source. People are always drawn to water. Yes, absolutely. And especially these waters, since they're magical. So what is it about this water that makes it so good for the body? All the waters have a different mineral content, like magnesium, calcium in them, phosphoric. 
iodine. So it does. the medicinal effect. Absolutely, it works inside out, it's proven. Yes. They've been doing this for 2,000 years. There must be something to it. Definitely. So you born and raised in Budapest. What do you think of it today? I love to live here. The atmosphere is priceless. I mean, I don't want to move any place else. I tried, but I always came back. <laughs> this definitely feels like a capital city. This feels like a city of the world. People are having fun. There's something in the streets that are alive. There's just a feeling. You know, Budapest is quite a spicy city. Oh, I like that. A spicy city. So are these the world famous Hungarian peppers? Yes. <laughs> After my own heart. And that makes Budapest really so special. Really you just special. feel it. The most difficult aspect of travel is the traveling. I'm just like, trying to keep up. But when you're river cruising on a vessel as magnificent as the Ama Magna, the journey is the destination. Now this is how you cruise. The sights, the sounds, the sweets, the savory, the suds, they're all here. They all exist before you ever disembark the ship. And what welcomes you when you tie up in a new town is nothing short of spectacular. This trip has been just what the doctor ordered.